Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Coming back to the channel. Okay. Peace and blessings all the way around. Peace and blessings all the way around. Hopefully you all had a wonderful work day week. Okay, that was hump day we got over and Lord have mercy. I thought that they would ne- this work day would never end. Okay, it was just a nightmare from the start. It's a hard day at work, but everything worked out and we cool with it. Okay, we at home. We're with the family. We on the tube trying to talk with my YouTube family. And what did I see come up in here? Okay, see, I don't understand why Bravo just can't get it even. Two white people, two black people, two Asian people, and two Latinos. You know what I'm saying? Or hell, Australian. Who cares? You know, just make it even. I get so tired of seeing more white folks than the black folks or more black folks than the white folks. I mean, can we get a consensus here? All right, but we got old Portia, Portia, Portia. I'm so glad you got a job, baby. Woo! And I, I've been seeing the pictures. I've been seeing the pictures. I don't know what the hell you got on, Portia. What do you have on, girl? You got a, a tiger leopard stripe suit going on. What is that? Girl, that's not like you. Were you in a rush? Did they catch you at a bad moment? Because you know you ain't got Drew no more. You damn sure ain't got Tanya. Uh, so you really got no friends. All right? You had to leave your man at home. He's in some, I don't know what, we don't need to talk about Simon because we're worried about you. We ain't got to worry about Simon, but he, he's over there talking about he missed you. I said, honey, it was a ram in the bush, a ram in the bush for this young lady, Tinsley Mortimer, to drop out so you could drop in. Now, ain't that God? Look at God working with you, Portia, Portia, Portia. Now, this lady on the left, she's supposed to be named Candace, and y'all supposed to be having some type of beef Portia, don't buy into it. Don't buy into it. You probably got, what, four or five episodes of this Ultimate Girls Trip Thailand. Just go in there, do what you got to do, and come on back out without any infractions, baby girl. That's the suit I'm talking about. What is this? Portia, what is this? I wouldn't even wear it out to a workout situation. What what are all of them got going on, really? She the only one I can say decent. The rest, what's going on? This whole it's 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 giving me broke. It's giving me broke, or is it too damn hot out there? And the mosquito I, I don't know. Maybe Portia didn't want want the mosquitoes to tear up. But when you sweet like that or you have certain fragrance, the mosquitoes will come. Either way. But that just really wasn't a group, a good group picture. Hell, even when Kenya and and um, what I Cynthia was on there, they they was like they're luscious. Everything was shiny and you know bright and, and festive. Like we're going to the beach and we're gonna have a good time. You know what I'm saying? But that was just a struggle picture I was looking at. A pure struggle picture. I'm like, well, all y'all just on standby. When they came up with this Thailand cast, was it just something they threw in there? I don't know where Giselle Bryant going with that red jumpsuit. I know, girl, you want to stand out. But could you not have gotten white or black? Okay. What's up with the red jumpsuit? Child. Oh, Lord have mercy. Bravo, bravo, bravo. What are y'all doing with y'all franchise? Because Porsche ain't never wore no shit like that. I ain't never seen Porsche with no shit like that. Okay, she always try to be, you know, on top of things with the fashion and showing her assets, of course. More her assets. Did you not see the picture she took on some little yacht that, well, it might be, you know, dinghy, uh, canoe, no, I don't know what it is, but I know it ain't no yacht she was on, okay? Maybe a little uh, surface boat here and there, because, you know, Father Time ain't got no money. He'd be sitting up there reading shit. And quiet as it's kept loud as I'm going to speak it out. I'm going to be at the rooftops. I'm going to be on the mountaintops. 
uh why y'all going around him begging known celebrities or businesses up in nigeria for freebies Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. Is your man not a millionaire? A billionaire? Why can't he afford it? Okay, some ain't adding up, poor. Some ain't adding up. We know by the grace of God you got that position back, you know. But I, what's with this situation that I'm hearing? I know it could just all be false. And I could just be blowing wind up your ass, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get you to answer the question. So maybe that's just what some, somebody else was talking about. It really wasn't true. But I'm just telling you what the streets are saying. What the streets are saying is that you're spending more of your money for this three weddings and a funeral. Okay. And uh, Father Time's not putting in as much as he should be putting in. So my question there, why do you want to marry him? Because evidently his stock ain't up, girl. His stock is not up. He is not genuine. Okay. All them cars he called himself lavishing on you from the Rolls Royce to the Mercedes Benz in that order, which I don't understand because it should have been the Mercedes and then upgrading you to the Rolls Royce, you know. But that's just me talking. That's just me talking, Portia. You got to listen to that, I'm saying. But I'm just on your window knocking in. Knocking because you didn't come to the door, so I had to go to the window. And that's me knocking, knocking, knocking like, what the hell are you doing, Okay. You ain't dressed right. Well, hell, they ain't none of y'all dressed right with that photo I saw. Maybe to come up before I end my commentary. But that was some struggle. Struggle type of outfits for every last one of y'all. Except for the white lady towards the right, the one on the end. She kind of kept it together. But I was surprised at Giselle. I was surprised at Candace. I don't know what Candace had on like a tutu or a little short... Uh, exercise bra or something and I, it was too much belly i mean the belly was thin is what i'm saying but it was just too much in the middle i didn't know what was going on i mean what are you trying to show you think you had a workout video or something i don't know i really just don't know i didn't like the picture y'all i didn't like it because it seemed like every last one of them was on standby waiting for the call to go straight to the airport and uh do not pass go just wait in the reception area and we'll get your ticket tickets so you can board the plane that we need to hurry quick fast and hurry get y'all over there so we can take a little bit you know what i'm saying if y'all get in a little argument as we're flying okay we need to tape that let us know before you get started okay because we know some of reality tv is scripted and the rest is uh you know maybe somewhat true but yes you ain't got your girl tanya you ain't got your girl drew you all up there I don't know. Hopefully, you're not uh, sending smoke signals to Simon. Because uh, last time I was checked, he was sitting on the bed at the resort eating ceviche. Okay? Boring himself to death, I guess. I, I don't know. Because I'm still trying to figure out who was taking a picture of him eating in the bed. Because he don't eat it at his house. Why he eating it? A rented suite. I don't know. But Candy, I mean not Candy, but Portia, don't go messing with Candace now. Y'all can forge a, a new friendship. I heard, you know, you was on uh, Monique's side of the the uh, argument or whatnot, or you had spent more time with uh, Monique, so you're siding with her over Candace. But, honey, you over there playing chess when you need to be playing checkers. You should not be sitting up there worried about who don't like who or whatever. You need to be getting them shots. See, the, you see, the, every last one of them on struggle. And the one to the left, I don't know. Like she just came out the bathroom for messing with the kids. You know what I'm saying? Just let herself go or something. I don't know what's going on with her, the one way to the left, okay? On my left, the white woman with the granny shorts on. I don't know. Okay, I'm at the end of this video because... What y'all gave me to look at was a piece of trash. That's what y'all did. It's like nobody had no makeup. Nobody wanted to fix their hair. Nobody wanted to wear some trending clothes over there. I tell you, they must have had y'all really on standby. And y'all just had to put whatever y'all could to get to the airport, make that flight, and be solidified over there in Thailand trying to do this, that, and the other, which I have no idea. Is Thailand a city you should go to? Or, I mean, a country you should go to? And it's it's supposed to have pretty beaches or something? I don't know, because, like I said, what they giving me on that group picture they took is uh, shipwreck. 
they shipwrecked. They like Gilligan's Island. They can't get off. And even Gilligan's Island, they had their clothes and their wardrobe going on more better than what these young ladies were doing in this photo op. But okay, that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe, share, and like my videos, guys. Please do that for your girl. Good night.